Hello everyone, my name's Angela and what I want to talk about today is when I went on a uh, book tour um, signing um, of World Bike Girl. Um, she's someone I've admired and loved for ages, uh, about two years ago and I'll tell you how I stumbled across her. Basically I wanted to start cycling again and not just um, cycling like normal I wanted to build it up so that we could do cycling holidays and things like that so um, one of my aims one day is to cycle around um, England to different parts of it and one of them definitely be the Isle of Wight uh, we've had many beautiful holidays there and I want to learn to I want to go so I'll be able to cycle around um, and also abroad um, in Europe I'd love to do it and one of my aims is to spend a couple of months in Mallorca and to cycle around that too. So I joined a few uh, cycle groups on Facebook um, and different other means um, and I started getting loads of ideas and tips and someone put on there, you must follow this woman, she is amazing. Her name's Ishabel Holmes and the World Bike Girl and uh, you need to follow her. And two years ago I started doing that. and followed her journey ever since and I followed her through Brazil and she rescues street dogs. That wasn't how she started and you probably need to read the book or follow it you spell yourself because it's such a long story um, but she rescues st street dogs and gets them adopted and rehomed and everything and it's all done on her bike and she travels with a trailer and rescues them. Um, so I've seen her in Brazil when she got robbed um, and we was all giving her, everyone that follows her was giving her words of support. Um, we felt so sorry for her. Um, so she's been through an awful lot, um, you know, sort of rescuing these dogs and everything else. Um, in scary places, really scary places as well. Um, and she's got a wonderful heart anyway. So I was, so imagine my joy when I found out she was writing this book and doing a book tour in England because she lived in Scotland. And so she's come back um, from her travels uh, around the world at the moment, temporary, and she was doing a world book tour. And so I tried to get to one at Cambridge, but it got canceled. So I managed to get to the Milton Keynes one. I am so glad I went. It was two hours and I could have just listened to her all day. She was so interesting. It was absolutely brilliant and obviously I had a book um, which I didn't buy at the book tour I actually bought beforehand as one of her followers and she personally signed and put some lovely words in for me which was brilliant so I'm so chuffed with that um, so what I wanted to quickly show you in this clip is obviously us when we was at the book tour and us going there and the setup and everything else and Ishbel and her setup. One of the dogs that she's brought back with her is called Maria. It was Maria and Murphy she brought back from Brazil and got them adopted. They'd been through an awful lot. Um, and I followed her journey when she was rescuing Maria and wow, that dog is a very, very lucky dog having Ishbel on it on his side. Um, Maria was there what a beautiful beautiful dog she was placid everyone loved her and she was walking around while we was at the books book talk and we was all stroking her and she's just great so um yeah so i will show you clips of the videos of what happened while we were there and uh her journey but um yeah she's really really an amazing woman and she's done a lot for women and she, uh, especially for women that want to cycle in iran uh, which I'm not going to give all her stories away. The first bit um, I want to talk you through is, is in the actual bike shop where she done the talk. Um, this is her trailer, which she that was all she had to travel around the world, and you can see the dog trailer on the back. Um, she obviously had minimal amount of stuff, one stove, one everything, um, just just small amount of stuff, and this is what she's used and literally travelled around the world with. Ishbel's explaining that she's got a very strong Scottish accent and when she gets excited she talks really quick and no one can understand her so um, she just said to us please tell me to slow down and everything else and obviously we had Maria there you can see us striking Maria she's great 
Um, so yeah, she just ex introduced herself, just explaining about herself and her strong, and also her roots, her background, where she originally lived in Manchester and then went up to Scotland. <laughs> Ishbel goes on to say about she didn't go out to rescue dogs. Her aim was to travel around the world on bikes. Um, obviously, you know, I travel really light, as you can see, so it wasn't a problem fitting her on my bicycle. Um, basically, I moved everything on the front of my bike to the back. I mean, that is ridiculous. Look, see that? That's a bag on the other side of this bag. Um, and I attached a vegetable crate to the front of my bike. But when she did finally rescue this dog, and wow, what an amazing rescue, this was Lucy, and this was in Turkey. Um, all she had to put Lucy in was this wooden crate um, to use on the front of her bike, which she found and made up to put the dog in, and the dog was really heavy. And of course, the power of Facebook, the power of media, Ishbel put it out there, and she managed, well, a company kindly sent her the trailer for the dog and which become so much more better for Ishbel to rescue the dogs and to put them in rather than this wooden box on the front of her bike. Um, one of them I watched where she was making some sort of mes mosquito net with hula hoop hula tubes and stuff like that and she was going through a jungle, rainforest jungle. At the time I couldn't remember the name of it and I was thinking wow what a brave woman cycling through. Um, when I met her at the book tour she explained that because I said to her, I said, oh God, I was following you for going through this jungle. You are so brave. She went, oh, I had to go through it to get to the airport. <laughs> so she's so laid back and funny. Anyway, basically, she travelled through this jungle where there was wild panthers, where there was alligators, where there was wildlife. But she said what an amazing experience and loved it. <laughs> I'd be scared. But anyway, she loved it. Um, and there is alligators and caiman like, on each side of you. I don't think I could ever be as brave as Ishbel. Um, she underestimates herself and she plays it down, but she is extremely brave. Um, she has gone into Bolivia and she done a one woman protest because she couldn't get her tent back, but she spent three days protesting about it. Um, she slept on benches. She's just really been there. Um, she cycled through, I might have this wrong, it was of the Andes or Pyrenees, <laughs> might have that wrong but one of them and the air was so thin she showed video of her blood cell blood cells on her face bursted because the air was so thin and as she was laughing up there she was just laughing because the oxygen was just sending her mind cuckoo i did take um a bit of video of the last bit of video of us when we come out of the cycle shop just to show you how small and and intimate this tour and talk was so we could all get involved she also spoke about some other incredible ladies to follow which would be really interesting to look them up right we've just come out of the bicycle shop where we've been on the book tour it was well absolutely awesome Good she was amazing um but please if you can and you're interested, I know it's on Amazon, I am not. I don't earn anything out of this, I'm just saying, if you like a good read and follow someone true to life and not someone fake, then yeah, follow Ishbel because she's, she's an amazing woman, as I've said so many times in this vlog. Really, really great time and it was like meeting, a, to me, a celebrity because I've been following her for a couple of years. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and look out for some more because I'm going to do a packing what I what I could what I'm gonna take for a week's holiday in a hand luggage. So I'm gonna do a packing one and I've got a few others to come up. So thank you. See you later. Bye.